Okay, so Beis Hashem, a little in Parshas Baloyscha. It seems to be a side issue, but um, something that's very important and something important to understand about the idea of what is simcha, what is joy. So we're going to start like this. So the Pasik says, in this week's Parsha, the Pasik says, Ubiyam Simchaschem, Omoyadechem, Ovrachechachechem. The Pasik says that on the day of Shabbat, the day of. Um, the day of your joy, the day of your moya, the day of your yamtiv, and Rosh Chodesh, you should blow the chatzaytzos, you should blow the, the trumpets, which the idea of the blowing of the trumpets, which we see in this week's parsha, has to do with any time there's a new Ashra Sashchina, there's a new revealing of the Shechina's presence in this world, there's a revealing of Malchus, of kingship, just like Malchus Adar, just like in the, in the physical world, you know, you blow the trumpets when the king is arriving, not that there are kings today, but this idea of a trumpet blowing and then the kings arriving. So every time there's a ashra, there's a, a type of a new ashra, a shechina, the revealing of the shechina's presence, there is the blowing of the trumpets. The Chatzayit says. Um, but what, is this, what does it actually mean? What does it mean, the days of your joy and the days of your moyed? What does it actually mean? So the Avanezer famously says that this is referring to days of joy that were created when anytime there was a hardship in Kali Yisrael and they were redeemed, like the story of Purim, this is what the Ebenezer says, like a similar story to this Purim, you should blow the Chatzayitzras. But that's not according to Pshat. I mean, look, according to Chazal, that's not what it means. So what does it mean, B'yem Simchaschem, on the day of your Umayadechem? So it's possible that Simchaschem Umayadechem means both refers to Yom Tif, and B'yem Simchaschem means it refers to the three year golem. The three yomtiv that it says samachta bechakecha that there's a mitzvah to be joyous. Moyadechem refers to the other moyadim, the other uh, yomtivs of the year, which is not the three regalim, which, for example, let's say Rosh Hashanah Kippur, let's say that would be so. Yom Simchaschem, Moyadechem Simchaschem would be the three regalim. Moyadechem would be Rosh Hashanah Kippur. Rosh Hashanahim would be on Rosh Chodesh. These are the three times you should blow the chatzot But there's a sifri, and the sifri says something very interesting. The Sifri, in case you don't know what the Sifri is, so the Sifri is, basically there's Medrash, there's Medrash, there's Medrash Agada, there's a Medrash which speaks about the Agadita of the Torah, which is, for example, Medrash Abba or Tanchuma, that's like generally Medrash Agada, then there's Medrash Halacha, which is Medrash in the, written in the time of the Mishnah, but speak about the halachas, like halacha based on the psukim, on the on the psukim. So famously, like the Medrash on Shmois of a Medrash halacha is the Mechilta. Mechilta Rabbi Shmuel is the Mechilta. The Medrash of Ayikra is a Sifra or Torah's Kainim. That's what it's called. And then about Midon Dvarim, it's called the Sifri. So the Sifri is like a Medrash, but it's not like a Medrash like you used to Medrash with stories. No stories in the, in the Sifri. Very very maybe once in a while, but that's not what it has. And it's halachic. It's halachic work. So the Sifri writes like this, Miyam Sim Chasrim, that the Pasuk, it's the first source, Miyam Sim Chasrim. So Miyam Sim Chasrim, what does it mean, the day of your joy? Elo Shabbosus. That Sim Chasrim refers to a time of joy. The Sim Chasrim refers to a time of joy. And what day is that? What's the day of joy? The day of Simcha. This refers to, to um, Shabbos. Maybe put it on the other side. Yeah. That's what I was always schmecked. I was like, huh? <laughs> 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 yeah, so refers to the day of Shabbos. The day of joy means the day of Shabbos. Um, okay. That is actually a, uh, a chiddush. It's actually a, a chiddush means it's a, it's a novel approach because it seems that that would mean that there's a mitzvah to be joyous on Shabbos. That is a mitzvah of simcha, the mitzvah of be joyous to be on Shabbos. Famously, Toysi says in Moikotten that there is no mitzvah simcha on, on, on Shabbos. Simcha is only on Yom Tif, to be joyous, the mitzvah on Yom Tif, not on Shabbos. So if you look at the next, the next source is a Sifri Zutta, which is another version of the Sifri, that over there, it's interesting, it says, the drush, you see it on the left side, 
Simchasta, not the day of your joy, the Drush, what the way Chazal teases out that, that it refers what Biyoim is, is Biyoim, the day refers to Yom Tif, Ubiyoim, and the day, that refers to Yom Shabbos. Not to be Yom Simchaschem. Not that Drush is on Simchaschem. Not that it's saying that the day of joy is the day of Shabbos. But when it says Ubi Yom and that day, what is that day? That refers to Shabbos. So Shabbos is also a time to bring Chatzotzers, to blow the Chatzotzers, but not necessarily a time of joy. The first, in the first, in the Sefri that we have, it's Yom Simchaschem, the day of joy. And uh, if you look at the Balaturim, the Balaturim actually writes that the Yom Simchaschem is the, actually the Gematria of Yom Shabbos. So that that Simchaschem joy is actually a day of joy is a day of Shabbos. Shabbos is a time of joy. And if you look at this next source, I just want to go through a few of the sources here. Is uh, it's a book on other, and um, it brings down over here the Sifri that the that Yem Simchaschem, the day of joy, refers to Shabbos. The last the last paragraph. And uh, and that's actually the Psaka Allah, the, the Bahag, the Balachas Gedolis, actually rules that same way, that there's a mitzvah to be joyous on Shabbos. That there's a mitzvah to be joyous on Shabbos. If you look at the Shulchan Aruch Harav, Alter Rebbe Nechus Yom Tif, the Alter Rebbe says that there's not a mitzvah to be joyous on Shabbos like on Yom Tif, that the, the mitzvah that uh, you should do something extra special on Yom Tif because it's a mitzvah to be joyous, but suggest it seems to suggest that there's also still a mitzvah to be joyous on Shabbos, maybe not as joyous on Yom Tif. We have to understand what we're saying, but just, I'm just giving you this, the context of what these ideas are. And um, and there's also Yerushalmi. The Yerushalmi says in Megillah that if if other if the fourteenth day of other falls out or Tesvav, whatever it's Mokafas uh, if it falls out. On Shabbos, you shouldn't make the Suda on Shabbos. But you do it because you shouldn't do it on Shabbos. You should do this because the joy of Shabbos is one type of joy. That's the, the Yishalmi says. It's Medeshamayim. And therefore, we shouldn't mix in other types of joy. So we see that Simcha is connected to Shabbos. We have to understand what this means. But Shabbos is connected to joy, which seems not what we really think about joy. That When we think about joy, we think about some type of experience that brings us joy. Like some type of elated experience, something like of something happened differently, and that caused a type of joy. Like something was uh, you were you were struggling, and then you could, you know some catharsis fake. Let's say you were in doubt, and then there's a resolution of doubt, and that brought you joy. Or you were in Egypt, and you were enslaved, and then you were free, then that brings you joy, right? It's some type of elation or some type of overcoming of something that's negative. But there's something about. There's a, another type of joy that's something I want to talk about. If you look in this chart over here, we're going to do this chart a little different because it's it's opposite of this chart. The chart over here has Shabbos Yom Tov Sukkah Simchas Beis Sheva and Purim has five levels. We're going to talk about Shabbos as the level of Yichid of Kaitz Shliyad also, but we'll get to that in in a few minutes. The next source, just to get through this, the next source is. Is the the next column? The next page is on the bottom. It's it's a R of forty four, and this comes from Lukot the Sichus. That uh, like this, that when it comes to refer when it refers to Yom Tif, that um, it doesn't on Shabbos. It doesn't say the Samachta b'Shabbos. You should be joyous on Shabbos. It says Ubi Yom Simchaschem on a day that you're joyous. That is Shabbos. With with Yom Tov it says the Samachta b'Chagecha you should be joyous. It rather says Samachta. This is a very interesting distinction. It's almost making a distinction between saying the Samachta b'Chagecha meaning that you have to you. It's on the gaver. The person is creating the joy, and 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 saying that B'Yom Samachta the day of your joy refers to that the joy that the day itself is joyous. Then there's nothing that you have to do. The, like the chefs of the day, the day itself is a joyous day. I saw that in Chazon Yecheskel from Yecheskel Bramsky. He brings down in Shabbos Chofei. He brings down that the uh, that maybe Shabbos the joy is the joy of just that that it's Shabbos. That you're 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 joyous in the fact that it is Shabbos. That there's the Oynik Shabbos, the, the, that the pleasure of Shabbos brings you joy. But that's not doesn't seem that way. It seems that to be Yom Hashab, Yom Sam Chaskan, the day itself is the joy, not what it does to you. The day itself is a con- is a construct of joy, 
Um, and what, kind of, what, what is that type of joy? When we talk about joy, we talk about being happy. Let's say if we take the word happiness, what is that type of, uh, what does that actually, what does that actually mean? So in general, in the, in the larger, next source, in, in the general, in the larger context of, of joy, of simcha, um, in the Torah itself, it never says you have to be joyful. It says, you should be joyous in your yom tif. It doesn't say anywhere that you have to be in a, in a posture of joy. But there is something of ivdos Hashem simcha, which, which means to serve Hashem in joy. And the classic way to understand it, and the halachic way to understand it, what that means is that there is something that's called the simcha shal mitzvah. Simcha shal mitzvah means the joy of doing a mitzvah. It means when you're doing a mitzvah, you should be joyous while you're doing the mitzvah. It shouldn't, you shouldn't feel that you're doing this mitzvah as a chore or something that's, that's, that's heavy, a burden upon you, but you should do the mitzvah, the simcha of the mitzvah. The, the mitzvah itself should bring, to bring you the joy. This is the, this is the classic uh, definition of, of, of joy in the context of mitzvahs, that it's a simcha shal mitzvah, um, the simcha of the mitzvah, which is an integral part. You know, maybe like on one level, um, on, one, on one level, the whole idea of Simcha Shal Mitzvah is like one of the chedushim, one of the novel uh, or emphasis, strong emphasis of Torah Sabal Shem is that it should be Simcha Shal Mitzvah. There's a famous story that they once asked the Alter Rebbe, there was the Alter Rebbe had a Talmud, and he asked if he should, uh, that it was, uh, that was very close to him, and his father was not, was not a chassid. And he asked the Alter Rebbe if he should make of his father, should talk to his father about chassidus, so that he should get involved. And the Alter asked, does he have Simcha Shal Mitzvah? Is he joyful when he does a mitzvah? And, uh, and his son said, yeah, he is. He said, okay, so don't bother him. He, everything's fine. He doesn't have to become a chassid. So this is on one level. He already has a Simcha Shal Mitzvah. He's already a chassid. What is he going to learn chassid? He's going to make him, make him joyous. He's joyous already. But there's, there's more there's more oymik. This is on the first level. The first here, it seems that Simcha Shal Mitzvah, the idea of being joyous, that you're doing things joyfully, is the first level of what it means to be a spiritual person, a person that's involved in Torah mitzvahs, to, be, to do something with Simcha Shal Mitzvah is like an, an essential part. We'll see from Dari, there's a shtickle from Dari over here, a little shtickle, but we'll see that it's Simcha Shal Mitzvah. When you see that in Torah Yisrael Chassid, it's a little bit, a little bit more bohemic. So in the, in the, this is a classic, another classic uh, source, is the Rambam in the end of Hilchus Sukkah, Hamdus Lulav and Asir. The Rambam talks about in general, being joyous is the joy of, of Sukkot, three times it says to be joyous, and then the Ramah concludes the, the final Perichas Tazvav. So it's a simcha, that, the joy that a person has while they're doing the mitzvah. It's the next page, yeah. The simcha that a person has while doing the mitzvah, and the love that a person has for the, for the one that's that's commanding the mitzvah. Avoid the it's a, it's a tremendous work. It's a tremendous spiritual work to be joyous while you're doing the mitzvah. I think the girl said that this was the hardest. Mitzvah. This is the hardest mitzvah for him to accomplish, yes. So this is the simcha shal mitzvah, the, the joy of doing a mitzvah. V'cholam enei atzma simcha zu, and if someone does not, is not joyous while they're performing the mitzvah, they feel that as a chore and something that's hard and difficult, really pari v'menu, this is a very difficult statement, because, as the Pasuk says, tachas shal levad v'sham v'kach v'simcha tu levav which is also classic, uh, brought down from Dari, that the Arizal says in the Toichacha, when it talks about the rebuke, and it says all these harsh things that have, uh, that happened, so it, it, the, the, the Ari says, which really the Ramam says the same thing, that the reason for the rebuke, the reason why, why you're going through such a hard time, is precisely because you didn't serve Hashem with joy. That means whatever you did and didn't do was one, is one level, but the reason why you're, you're experiencing all this hardship is because you didn't experience Hashem with joy. So the 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 simcha shal mitzvah is an, is an integral part. If you if you're arrogant and you you're, you're self important and you don't uh, is then you're choyta v'shoyta. This is a very harsh word. Choyta v'shoyta means you're a sinner and a fool, which means if you do things and you're taking yourself very seriously and you're not you, you can't you can't express joy. And uh, like it brings down David Melech his mafazah macharke b'cholois that he danced in front of Hashem because he was so happy, and uh, even though he was rebuked for that. This means that you're that you're taking yourself too seriously and you're a choyta v'shoyta. Just remember, choyta v'shoyta. Simcha v'sheva, for example, for example. And the time that you have to be joyous. 
So the idea is the idea is that there's a there's a concept of being in the simcha shal mitzvah, the, the, the mitzvah itself. There's the mitzvah itself, and then the mitzvah, the shlomus mitzvah, like the, the completion of the mitzvah, is if you do with joy. And uh, if you look over here from the from the shalach kaddish, shaharisus is tough chukka. The shalach kaddish brings down that mitnoi. He brings up on the sefer chayim. Mitnoi kiyam mitzvah simcha gadol mitzvah. Don't the shadow like Kutcher Wagh leave Simcha Yigal Sahara, but that you should do with joy. And then he continues. This is the this is the result. The result revealed to his to his uh, confidence. Shakol Masha Hisik, Shaniftik Lai Shari Chachma Brucha Kaidish, everything that he received, all the wisdom that he received, and all the Rucha Kaidish that he received, the divine inspiration that he received, is Shar Shoy Sameach Basias called Mitzvah Simcha Gdol Lang Tachlis. From the fact that he was joyous when doing the Mitzvah Lang Tachlis. As I said, with with infinite amount of, of joy, so Dari and actually also writes this in Shari Kedusha. In uh, I'm sorry, in Shari Ruch Hakodesh, in the beginning, the Ruch Hakodesh brings on Mishem Ari that that the reason why the Rizal says that he was Zoycha he was married to receive Ruch Hakodesh, the highest level of revelation was because he did mitzvahs with, with joy. He did the mitzvah with joy. He did everything with joy. As he brings out the pasuk Tachas Shilavadus Kach B'Simcha Tu Levav Marev Kol. The common time we're learning calls out. Okay, this is the idea that you have to be joyous. It's the most precious thing and the most joyous thing. And then he brings down from the Chredim that therefore, if you're joy, you sing and you, you dance, and it's, it's even more so than a love for a woman. And you'll you'll sing. This is Avatishka Tamid, the idea. And it's what it says that's why all the greats, the great the great Dali so of Kali so and Yehuda Chassid and the Avon Ezra, they were all Meshoyerim and Yehuda Levi. They're all singers. Because they're in, in great joy and great love, it's an it's an outward expression, a natural expression, to express your love, to express your joy, with with um, with with joy, uh, with song. So this is the idea of doing the mitzvah with simcha, doing the actual mitzvah and doing the mitzvah with with joy, saying that the importance of the idea of joy. It's important also that the idea of joy is the is the hashlam of the mitzvah. The completion of the mitzvah is when you know when you're doing it correctly if you're doing it with joy. But this is all simcha shal mitzvah. One more source is from the Sipurim Shemir, which is Avodas Hakodesh, from from the Chida that the Chida brings down that the Efshed in the Troik and Simcha, maybe the, that the Uden Troik the acronym for the word Simcha is Simchas Mitzvah Chiyavu. That the simcha of a mitzvah is a chiyuv, and that's the idea of you have to. It's an obligation to do the simcha of a mitzvah. That it's a, it's very essential that you do the mitzvah with joy. Okay, atkan. This is the classic uh, definition of simcha, which means that it's a simcha is a simcha of the mitzvah. You're doing the mitzvah, and while you're doing the mitzvah, you're doing the mitzvah with with great joy. This is this is one way to understand it. However, however, it gets a little bit more deeper. So you have in the Baal Shem, this will do two quotes. The first one is from Kesar Shem Tov. It's brought up in Sefer HaSich, Stav Shem Hei, from the Riyadz. The one is that, Zayn Derech is given to Zayn Tom of the Simcha. That the first thing is that the Derech of Baal Shem Tov is to be always in, jo- always in a joyful state. So Simcha Shal Mitzvah means the Simcha of a Mitzvah. When you're doing this Mitzvah, you're doing it with joy. Okay, what happens if you're not doing this Mitzvah? Okay, it's very hard to say when a person is not there. A mock writes that either you're doing an Aveya or you're doing a Mitzvah. There's no, no stake, there's no power of. Either you're doing something positive or you're doing the opposite. Okay, but in the Pashtus, it means, I don't know, you're walking down the street. So the, the, the Derech of Baal he's saying the path of Baal was to always be in a joyful state. That the Simcha itself was, a, was, was an Avoida. Even though the Shem Simcha means not that I'm serving a Shem Simcha, the, the, Shem, the, the Simcha itself is, is an Avoida. And here it says clearly from the, from the Yidah Kaddish, in the next page, that he says, he teaches, Shemaitim Avi, Shamru Ivdus Shem Besimcha. That he says Ivdus Shem Besimcha. What does it mean Ivdus Shem Besimcha? Sha Simcha Ba'atzma Avoida. That the 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 that the Simcha itself is the Avoida. Not Ivdus Shem Besimcha is the joy is a, is an is an event is an attachment, and then into the mitzvah that you have to do the mitzvah, and you have to do the mitzvah with joy. No. There's something deeper that the the, the 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 mitzvah itself is like you know let's say mitzvah gedolei is besimcha. That means this is a very revolutionary statement because you're saying not that to do the mitzvah I have to do it with joy, but the, the 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 joy itself is the mitzvah, or or like 
Baron Carlin once said that, that, that Simcha is not an aver, a mitzvah, and Merirus and depression is not an Avera, but what joy can bring, no mitzvah can bring, and what uh, depression can bring, no Avera can bring. Which, but th- th- there's an oymic that the, 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 there's, an, there's a concept of the joy in and itself. So this is, this is really, a, this is like, in, in a way, this is like a very great principle of Torah of Torah Baal Shem. Now, Torah Baal Shem, in everything, one of the, one of the great chedushim, if you can, can, can quantify it like this, is like this: that nothing is there for something else. Everything has inherent value in and itself. So, for example, let's say you'll say, "Kol masachel l'shem shemayim." This is look over Yitzchak. "Kol masachel l'shem shemayim" means you're eating l'shem shemayim, which means there's no real intention what I'm eating now. Why am I eating? I'm eating so later I should have strength to learn. Later I have strength. I, I should daven. So, the, but there's no there's no kavana in the eating itself. The eating is just as a hechetim, so as a way, and to try to get strength. So I, I get strength by eating. So I get l'shem shemayim. But in Torah Sachsidus, but chol derechadeyo means chol derechadeyo means in derechacha in your path, not in Hashem's path. In other words, in derechacha, it's your path. Okay, okay, okay. So Baruch Shegevanti. But that's uh, uh, okay. So this, this is the word. This, this is Torah Sachsidus. That chol derechadeyo means. That the, there's the ayu in the act itself. The ayu is da hu. You should know Hashem in the in the in the thing in itself. This is not just a word. This is not just a, a teaching of the Balshem in a particular area. You have to understand this. Balshem is not just saying it about about work. Balshem is, is is the gilu of Torah is saying that in time, space, and consciousness, the everything is in and itself has the inherent value. In other words, if you say what, what's what's the if you use different oasis to say like this, in the Torah in the Torah Sabal in Torah it was revealed, it was revealed very loosely. We'll say it's revealed the Torah of the Ein Soif. In, in the Torah of the Ein Soif, Ein Soif means that there is there's a mar, there's a source, the source of light, and then there's a revealing from that light, and. The closer you are to the mar, to the source of light, the higher it is, right? And the tachlis will be no, it's tachlis on the side from like the beginning is edge in the end, and then finally it will be revealed the, the, its revelation. But everything else is is there from the from the nikkuda, from the point, and is getting a weight a weight from that point, getting eventually back to the point. So it's all about being in a process to get there. It, it, it could be in time and space and in, in so if you'll, you'll say let's say what's what's what what was Torah Sachsidus? what did the what did Baal Shem reveal Baal Shem revealed which will, is the Torah Sa'atzmos really that the Torah that would, the order that the Baal Shem brought down to this world is the Atzmos the Torah the essence the essence of, the essence of a Kaddish Baruch Hu. in essence when you say in or or is a Giloy or is a revelation in the world of revelation there are things that are more revealed there's things that are less revealed. But in the world of essence, everything is essence. You follow? So when the Balsham said that the Noshim Pshutim are like, are like, uh, are, you know, that a, p- a person doing a serious work, like a Noshim Pshutim, a very simple person, seriously saying to him uh, with a seriousness, is like the, the highest level of, of someone that has a revealed revealing of, of Hashem's presence, let's say a, a big Talmud Chacham. It's not just saying it's like it. But really, there's a difference. It's saying if it's really, if you're really connecting to the essence, to the essence of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, then the essence is expressed in many different ways. Sometimes it's expressed this way, sometimes it's expressed this way. So in, in, in the Torah Sachsidus, when the reason, in other words, let's, let's I'll back this up. The reason why the Baal Shem Tov says, Bechol Dechechadeyu, is not because he said another Torah. There's one Torah, is Bechol Dechechadeyu, and the Baal Shem gave another Torah and says, no, it's deeper, it's Bechol Dechechadeyu. The Yisoy of the Torah Sabal Shem is that concept. The Yisoy of the Torah Sabal Shem is that there's actually nothing that's only a means to an end. Everything is an end in itself. So when when you say that the that a yid, let's say for example, that the truth is that the highest the highest level of lakus is revealed in the in the in the, 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 the sham of a yid can reveal the highest level of a, of lakus, is saying that you're actually you have it within you. That all the, the treasure actually is is within you. You don't have to look out outside of yourself to get it. Yeah. Okay, I guess already, right. The the chacha means that right. The chacha is dafke and mafke. It's correct. In other words, it's always like that. It's always like that in time and in space and in consciousness. 
this is this is the oymek in the Torah of Al Shami to the, to connect to that or like or that moir that source of light to the recognition of that of that of that process. So this is the this is the revealing this is what this is the revealing of the happiness in Torah of Al Shami. So let's go back to the idea of joy. So you talk about joy. The when you say ivdo sasham besimcha or you say that you're doing a simcha shal mitzvah you're doing a joy of a mitzvah, then the simcha is an attachment to the joy. Or it's 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 it completes the joy. It adds to the joy. It, it adds to the mitzvah. It completes the mitzvah. But then you're saying that the thing in itself is the mitzvah. The the, the, the simcha itself. What you're doing now, whatever you're doing now, is in itself the highest opportunity to make a connection. That's that's the, okay. So is, we'll, there, we'll, is there an elevation of your aspects of simcha while you're doing a mitzvah of the simcha, or is it one and the same? If it's all essence. It usually, well, that's that's a good question. A good, well, well, maybe we'll talk about this, but that's a, that's a good question. Let's go to let's go to a dark emotion. I know this is completely that doesn't seem like it's consistent with what we're trying to talk about, but let's go to the dark emotion. In Hilchos Purim, dark emotion is the Ramah, and the Ramah brings down. The Ramah brings down from the Kolboy. If you're allowed to, if you're allowed to get married on Purim, so we know the Gemara says you're not allowed to get married on on Yom Tif. The Gemara Mar Katan says you're not allowed to get married on Yom Tif. Why? Because Emar Simcha Simcha. You're not allowed to mix joy with joy. So the 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 the, the Kolboy, which is one of the Rishonim, asked the question whether this rep- this replies also to Purim. Do we say this principle of Emar and Simcha Simcha? You don't mix joy and joy, or it only refers to Yom Tovim, which is Midaraisa from the Torah, but not things like Midara And then he brings from Rival, he brings different, different, different things. Um, and then it says, Vani Oimer, about Pinyin Aben, other things, if you're allowed to admire Simcha, Simcha, you're allowed to mix different types of joys, then the Dark Moshe the, the writes like that, the Ramah writes like this. You see, it's on the line. It starts over there. Even though it's uh, you know, I'm not going to argue with uh, with these Rishonim and and Marie Val is also from the, uh, the last Rishonim. I'm going to write what appears to me. The way he said the, the mixing joy only refers to Yom Tif. As it says, so therefore I can't, you can't, you can't mix those two joys. But the Purim like Siv, in Purim it doesn't say this. It doesn't say v'samachta bechagecha. You should be joyous in your Yom Tov. It, it only says zak mishta v'simcha. It says that Purim was yemei mishta v'simcha, the day of of feasting and being joyous. She says cholmash cholmash efshir yishimzach chomani loy sagi loy. In other words. Purim is what 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 the Ramaz Machalish is saying like this, that there's a samachta bechagecha means the Torah says I have to be joyous in a particular thing bechagecha in the Yom Tif. So if you're going to get married, it's not going to be bechagecha; it's going to be shtecha. It's going to be in your wife. You're going to be joyous because of your wife. Not so the emar v'simcha v'simcha is you're going to take away the joy of being joyful in the Yom Tif, right? Like we said before, b'samachta bechagecha is the gaver, the person, not being simchas from elah shabbos. It's not the day itself. That b'samachta bechagecha you should be joyous. You should be joyous in this Yom Tif. Okay, if you're not joying in this Yom Tif, you're joying something else. Purim is different, because Purim, it says, you may mish, no, it's the you may mishta v'simcha. In other words, Purim, it's the day in itself is a day of mishta v'simcha. How is that mizbata? How does that reflect? Doesn't matter. If you're, if it reflects marrying somebody, so fine, you're marrying someone. The, the, the gather is you have to be joyful. You understand? The, 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 exactly. Maybe the best day to get married. Sorry. In the Yom Tov, you have to do the Samachta B'chagecha, in particular in the Chagecha. But in, in Purim, it's the, the essence of the day is you have to be joyful. And then how, how are you joyous? Okay, whatever. A person is joyous a different way. If you're joyous by getting married, so you get married also, it's not, it's not a stare because the day itself, there's sort of like a background of joy. And then you have to fill in the joy. However you fill in the joy. The Yemei, it's Yemei Mishta V'Simcha. Now this is a very interesting, a very interesting Hagdara because like this, because... We have a very similar idea. We know that Purim is the, the Tukun Zoyas writes that that Purim is Kippurim. That Yama Kippurim, Yama Kippurim is Kippurim, is like Purim. And the Gro on, on that Tukun writes that that um, the the fact that we fasted 
on Purim, the hashlama for that, the completion of that, is we're joyful on Purim. So they're like flip side of the same thing. And Rabbi Isaac Hover adds, extreme yeah, extreme. So in other words, you, you're joyous on one day completely, c- corresponding to the day that you complete Inu, you complete fasting on the other day, which is Purim. Rabbi Isaac Hover says it's actually the, similar to the same thing also with the day before. The day before Yom Kippur is a day that you have to eat double, it's twice. And then for that, you do Tanis Esther. So they're, they're corresponding Yom Tovim. Now there's a big machlokes in Gemara between Rabbi Yehuda and Achacham, whether Itzumah Shiyam Mechaber in Moshav, if you have Itzumah Shiyam, the day it itself brings tshuva, or you need you have to do tshuva. Itzumah Shiyam is Mechaber, the day it itself brings atonement, or you have to you have to do tshuva. The Chacham say that Itzumah that the day, that the, the, the language of Rabbi Yehuda in the Gemara is Itzumah Shiyam Mechaber, the day it itself is Mechaber, uh, and Chacham say no, that's not Mechaber, the day it itself doesn't bring atonement, you have to do tshuva, you have to be shavim. And that's how you do tshuva. But if you look at the, the Rambam's language, when the Rambam writes the Chosim Kippur, the Rambam actually writes it's tshuva shiyam mechaper ima shavim. That tshuva is mechaper with the shavim. He he brings the two opinions together, which means what the Rambam is saying is that it's really a tshuva shalyoim. The Chacham are not arguing with Rabbi Huda and saying that it's not a tshuva, not the essence of the day that brings tshuva. Chacham are also saying that it's tshuva shalyoim is mechaper. The day in itself is mechaper. It's just saying that in order to be mechaper, in order to bring atonement, you need tshuva. It's like it's the the, the marshal for that. If you want to, if you wish, is like to say, like you go into the mikveh and you, and and you're holding a sheretz, you can't you can't you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't get pure if you're holding an impure object and you're going into the mikveh. Not that the impure object or throwing away the impure objects makes makes you pure. Pure. It's just you can't become purified if you're holding impure objects. So it's almost a yom is mechaper. The day in itself brings atonement is mechaper. If you do tshuva, if you let go of the sharets, if you let go of that of that that uh, that that animal, okay. Now, if you say, if you say that it's mashiach mechaper, which means like this, that there's the essence of the day of Yom Kippur, is the achas mashon. There's a once once a year. There's achas mashon, which means that it's not it's it's the essence of the day itself. That it's his man tshuva lekoil. That that the Yom Kippur is the day of tshuva. The day of tshuva is is mechaper. It's 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 the essence of the day. You could say the same thing about about Purim. That Purim says that it's Yimei Mishta V'Simcha. Yimei Mishta V'Simcha means, I know we're going to give a new Agdara, we're going to say a new, a new concept, but this is the, the Barak, something like this. Just like there's a Tzumah Shal Yoim is, 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 of Yom Kippur, there's a Tzumah Shal Yoim of, of Purim. A Tzumah Shal Yoim of Purim is Simcha. You following? Not that the Tzumah Shal Yoim is Mechaper, like the, uh, the day of itself Yom Kippur brings atonement, that means that atonement, Kapar really is what does it mean that it's Yom Kippur? What does it actually? Let's let's go back. What does it mean that it's Yom Kippur? It's Yom Kippur means that we're saying that Kapara is the essence of what the reality is. If I say something is is, is it Yom it's, it's an essence. I'm saying that there's 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 an aver. There's something someone does something wrong, right? And you do something wrong, you do something that's sinful or something that's a transgression. You do something that's that's out of character. But then you say that tshuva means that you're revealing what the real character is, right? Tshuva can mean two things. Either tshuva means means I'm repairing something, or tshuva means like I'm actually returning to something. If tshuva means returning, it means that I'm saying that the place of, of that I'm returning to is already perfect. I'm saying I'm perfect. I did an imperfection. I have to return back to my perfection, right? That's what tshuva would mean. I'm returning back to the place of that I'm already perfect, that I'm already whole. If I say it, what that means is that Tzumashayom means that the essence of the day reveals to us that the essence of who we are is beyond beyond an aver, beyond sin. That's the essence of who we are. That's why we say that Yom Kippur, the day of Yom Kippur, that the, the, there's no there's no satan. That the Gemara, the Gemara says that a satan, it means a little different. I know in in the, in the Gemara it actually means that it's not mekatrik. But in, in the way the way it says in Sifr, Sifr Soy, it means that there's no satan. I know it doesn't mean that because the Gemara actually says there is a satan. Whatever. So that a person is tempted on Yom Kippur and the Gemara says that it's, it's not Makatrik. But the way it's understood is that there's, not, there's no satan because the satan is 364, saying that the, what is, what's revealed on Yom Kippur is that we're higher than the satan. What do you mean the higher satan? What's revealed on Yom Kippur is that the Tzumah Shal Yom. There's, 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 there's an essence of the person, that's the Tzumah Shal of the Nefesh of Adam, and on Yom Kippur, what's revealed is that Tzumah Shal Yom, that's revealed that it's the essence of the person. The same thing also with, with, with Simcha, with joy. Yemei Mishlev Simcha, the day of joy. That what does it mean that Yemei Mishlev Simcha, that it's a Tzumah Shal Yom, the day in itself. And therefore, any type of joy that you have is okay, right? Because however that joy reflects, is going to be part of the, the Tzumah Shal Yom, the essence of the day of joy, is saying that what is the essence of who we are is joy. 
that there's, there's, there's joy in the essence, just like there's kapara in the essence. There's, there's, there's the atzmis of, of that's beyond, beyond Raveri. The essence of the person is in a tnua of, of joy. That there's, 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 there's the oiz v'chazim, oiz v'chazim koimai. There's, the, there's the joy of the presence of being in the place of ready where you are. There's, and, and now we have to understand this. So there's, what, 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 what I want to say is like this. That there seems to be, there seems to be two, two gdarim, two different definitions when we talk about the word joy. It, it actually refers to two types of joys. One type of joy, one type of simcha, and we talked before earlier about the simcha shal mitzvah, the simcha of doing the mitzvah. One simcha is connected to 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 um, to a uh, a process that uh, says, for example, smeichem b'tzeisam, sasim b'vayim, smeichem b'tzeisam. So we say this, right? Smeichem b'tzeisam, sasim b'vayim, smeichem b'tzeisam. Smeichem is a idea of 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 going out. That smeichem b'tzeisam means that it's the joy of becoming. When a person is, is, is a tzaysam, sameach, the word sameach, to be joyful, is connected, connected to the word sameach, right? Because the shin and a tzaddik, liyitzchak or liyitzchak, it can be interchangeable. Tzaddik and sameach come from the same shoyish within the mouth. That some, the, uh, joy comes when you're, when you're growing, when you're becoming. When, 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 it's, when you're tzameach, and when you're, when you're being, emoting, expressing yourself, when you're, when you're, and, and, and you're becoming something, and you're consistent with who you want to become, so there's joy. If a person accomplish something, let's say you, let's say you're, you're an architect, right? And you 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 build a building, so it brings joy. You're a writer. You're 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 a London. You make something. It's all upon of. I don't know whatever it is. It's a joy. You found something new. You make something. You created something new. Because if that's your amal, that's your working. That's your that's what you do. You're you're composer. This is what you do when when you create it. The 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 smechim is bitsaysam. This this is the grow rights. That this the simcha, the word difference in sasim and simcha, you know the famous there's a famous Gemara and, and Sukkah talks about that there was two minim, what was called sasim, what was called simcha. The grow rights are the biggest secrets of the Torah is revealed in there. But there's a two types of joy. There's the one the, the, the simcha, the simcha joy is not the contentment, which is sme, the sasim bivoyim. The sasim comes from this sasim. But the uh, the like Okay, well, I'm not going to get into that. But, so it, but the simcha comes from the smechem is b'tseisam, when you're, when you're growing, when you're developing, when you're moving. This is one type of simcha. But then there's another type of simcha, which is not about, uh, uh, about process, about movement, not about simcha. It's the opposite. It's about being, it's about being, not becoming. There's a becoming simcha and there's a being simcha. You're, you're following this, this analogy? That the becoming simcha means I'm, I'm becoming something. I'm becoming who I want to become. I'm, I'm sure if I have desires to become that thing. And I'm, I'm constantly accomplishing something and, and, and achieving it. And I'm getting joy as I'm achieving it. The smechim is a, is, is a sam. The smechim is a tzemech. Then there's always v'ched v'mimkoymoy. V'mimkoymoy means in the place that I am. That's the tzuma shal yoyim. The tzuma shal yoyim of the tzuma shal is v'chaper. The tzuma shal yoyim is misamech. The tzuma shal yoyim is the essence of, the, of that day. So let's look in the entire small shem. You have this uh, a little bit more clear. I'm trying to say is like this: If you look in Teres of Hashem, in the Toldos, he brings down a vort from the from the Moiri. That um, see at the bottom column over there, the left column, Hiksha Moiri. What's, what does it mean that a, like a little tiny uh, worm, you know, uh, loves Hashem? What, what's what's what does it mean? So he says like this. That the world was created through the world of din, judgment. Shusay that symptom, which is the idea of the contraction of the of the of the koyachin soifi as an infinite light. So since the world was created through din, since the world was created through judgment, so therefore, therefore, when there's there's God forbid yisurim, a person has complications and, and suffering. 
the the there is the the guf, which is the body itself, and So let, let, let's say like this: that there's the koyach aliki, the koyach the koyach the koyach giving, the koyach of of of. of the world is, Hashem is creating the world through through a koyach of giving, right? To create. But in order to create, in order to create, to give room, to give. Dirt, to, create, to, give, to give, to give, to give, to give. That, the, by the way, the, this is the only thing we can actually, the only, if there's any Haggadah, by the way, if there's any Haggadah to say what the Ebishter is, Kaviachal, the only Haggadah we can say about the Ebishter, any tzur, any tzur we can say is a Teva Tevil Hatev. That's the only thing we can say about the Ebishter. That's why, that's the only thing we can say. The only thing we can say is that he gives. How do you know he gives? Because he gave. In other words, I can't, I can't, I, I, there's not, there's, everything else I can, I can infer, I can, I can, I can understand maybe, I can contemplate, but the, if I look at the, at the creation, the one thing I can say for sure is that he's a creator. So that's why in, in the language of, of, of the Mukabal, even the language of the Roshonim, it's a Teva Tevil Hatev. That's the nature, the Teva Tevil Hatev. How do I know the Teva Tevil Hatev? Because he was Matev. He gave good. He created the world. So that's the one Agdar. The, so the Koyach key to give, the Teva Tevil Hatev to give is the creative Koyach. But in order to give, there had to be a Koyach Atzimtzum. There had to be contraction. Why? Because if a Koyach to give, then he would create everything in St. Sophias. Everything would be in Everything would be overwhelmed with his giving. So in order to create something that's Agbala, something that has Gvul, that had to be the Tzimtzum. So that's a Koyach that's working against. So there's a Koyach that's giving, and there's a Koyach that's withholding, that's allowing for the thing to be created. So in everything, when you look at an apple, you look at a tree, you're seeing two things in essence. You're seeing the Koyach Aleki, the giving Koyach, that's Shef, that's shef and giving to create the apple and create the tree. But when you look at the actual physical ap- apple in the tree, you're actually seeing the Koyach Atzimtzum. Because the, the fact that it's only an apple, not, a, not an orange, and not something else, is the Koyach HaGvul, is the Koyach Atzimtzum. Is the is the is the the, the power to, of the constriction power the constricting power? So in other words, the 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 physicality of something or the, the appearance of the physicality of something is the koyach is the power of the constriction, and the giving power is the koyach of ein is of the giving, is 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 the is the nefesh is the neshama. So in every single object, there's the soul of the object. The soul of the object is the is the is the is the koyach of giving. The giving power and the the goof of the object, the physical object of it, is is a koyach atzimtzum. So therefore, that when a person when a person is when a person receives yisurim with love and with joy, which is the chais aruchnis. In other words, what's a chais aruchnis? Chais aruchnis, the spiritual koyach, is the koyach of giving, of love, to give. So if you if you receive something physically and you receive it with love. So what are you now do, doing now? You're miskashing yourself, you're connecting yourself with the koyach of the giving. And what happened when you're connecting the koyach of the giving? So therefore, it's batal adin. It, it, you, you, you break open the vessel. In other words, if you're receiving something, right, and the receiving something of the receiving is the yusurim, is the guf. And you say that the koyach that's giving is the koyach of ava. And you're makashi yourself ba'ava with love to, to that object, so you're makashi your chais with the chais of the thing. If you're makashi that chais of the thing, the, the thing itself breaks, disappears. You understand? That's only a koyach that's blocking the koyach of the av of Hakadosh Baruch Hu. that's the din. But if you're makabel ba'ava, you're receiving with love, so you're connecting your chayes with the chayes of the thing within itself. So then the object itself is is what we call avad dechekes albasa, if you want, because w- w- the moment you have a connection with with, with what's going on, really, because that's the, in other words, my makabel ba'ava is is the koyach aliki. That's the koyach hashifeh. That's the koyach of giving. So if I connect myself with the koyach of giving, it, it automatically the koyach of the tzimtzum, of the contraction of the of the of the goof of the body of that object disappears. So that's a mavatal din. Without, huh? How does the how does the tzimtzum disappear? The, 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 there's two things that happen in every single object, right? Let's say you're suffering, okay? Let's say a person's going through struggle, okay? We'll say pot is partial. So there's there's two things that are happening. One is that in this thing that you're going through the struggle, there's the koyach aliki of giving of love. That's present in there, right? That creates that situation, right? Like whatever the situation, it's been created by the Creator. So therefore, that there's a koyach that's giving that energy, life force, that's allowing for that existence to, to appear. Now you're receiving it from the, from the guf, from the koyach from the from the constricting power, and you see it. Oh, it's just hurting me. Let's say a person, God forbid, is, is literally slapping you, okay? If they, or metaphorically, but let's say literally slapping you. So a guy is, is literally, someone's literally slapping you. There's one hand, there's the koyach of giving that the person's, there's, the, there's a, the animating force that's giving this person life 
in his hand to, to, to exist. Right? And, but but when, when you're receiving it, you're receiving the body of it. So you're receiving it as pain. Now, if I can miskasha myself, myself with the koyach of the giving, what's really happening, which really that's an act of giving that I'm receiving now, then I'm actually... I, there's, no, there's no longer a symptom. There's no longer like, a contraction. So the more I connect the Ava to the Ava, the more there's no, there's no goof. This is, this is the, this is the, the Derech HaBal What the Baal Shem is saying is this is how you move Atal Din. You're not, you don't have to do any fancy shameless and anything. anything. If you're Makabal but Ava, really, and you're Makashi yourself with, that, with the Chais of that thing, it is, it's automatically this battle is it. I didn't. This is, this is a of that told us. If you look that the, the, the commander brings down the same Torah from the told us. Uh, in Zohar Chai. and the commander brings down the same lotion and Kidu, the commander tweaks a lot the lotion of the Balsham. and the, com- the commander has a has a, has, has a, a very important word that I that, that why this is why I'm bringing in the story it's in the next page it's in, it's in the, it brings them it's brought them Balsham and Altair gracious so you like this so Vedini Yisur Adam Heim Guf Let's, we'll start from that line. Din Yisur Adam Him Guf. The dinim, the constriction and the pain and the suffering the person experiencing is the body. Is the, is the koyach, is the power of the constriction. El Anishama. It's the guf, it's the body to the soul, which is the chayis aruch l'shemei al Adam. Right? Which is the chayis that is giving, the, the life force that's now giving that, that experience. Hu l'kuzi is baruch shemei ayin seif baruch hum chayis akol. Which is the life force that's giving that animating force that existence. If it's the hand that's slapping, what's the koyach that's giving them? The, the, the time of the word, the Ramak speaks about this mamish, the same Indian, that the person could like slap someone. When you when you do an aver, you're saying you're taking the chayis al that Hashem is giving you as a chesed, and you're doing you're doing the opposite. You imagine what kind of love that Abishar has to have? Because he's creating something that's going against him. It's like you give your child a, 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 you know, a toy and he throws it on you. And then you give it again to him. You know, you're, you're giving the, the child the koyach to use it against you. But that's the koyach liki. The koyach liki is, is, is a giving force. That's what it does. So it gives. So there's the goof of the thing, there's the body of the thing. The body itself is the yisurim, the, the, the pain or the anguish that you're experiencing of it. But the chayas of it, the life force of it, is, is a koyach of, gu- of giving. When a person receives with love and joy, then it becomes nasa yichud. You create unity between your love and joy with the source of the love and joy. You're makasher, you draw closer, and you're makasher, and you, and you connect. And you're mamish medavik, you make one. The vessel, the goof, the physical form, which is the constriction and the din, the, constr- the judgment, which is elakim, elanashama, to the soul of what is giving life to that thing. But here he adds a word. Shua simcha vachayis. Haruchnis, which is itself the joy, the chayes is simcha. I don't know. I don't know who had it right, but I'm just saying from the commander we have this lashon that in the Toldos he doesn't say the simcha is the chayes. He says the ava the chayes. Here he says the simcha the chayes. Then his battle din and asar rachim. Then his battle din is the, the din is falls apart and it becomes rachim. Yeah, so I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I understand what he's saying, but he's saying that the chayes is kevul simcha. In other words. What 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 I, I what I'm taking out of this? What I want to think? What I besides the Moed the Torah that the Torah itself is a, is a Gemal the Torah is that he's saying that the Chayes of is Ava and Cha and Simcha. In other words, it's not just the Chayes of that's love; it's a joy. In other words, the Chayes of is Ava, is Simcha. If the if the if the Chayes of the divine life force is Ava Vesimcha. When a person is Makabal, but Ava Vesimcha, with love and with joy in his own life, whatever he's experiencing in his life, he's Miskasha then Madavik himself to the Ava Vesimcha with Nechayis, which is the Chayis Aliki. And therefore, the, the, it's Zbat Ladin, the Din, that falls apart. Which, which is saying really that Simcha is the essence of life, not just Ava. Not this, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a I mean, it says in Sifr, Sifr Soy, but there's a Rebbe Huda Abarbanel, the Abarbanel son. Wrote a sefer called Dialogue al Amor. It's in the Latin. He was a Latin. Uh, he was a big professor in Italy. The Abarbanel, after he was expelled from Spain, actually ran to Italy to be with his son. And uh, it's a it's an interesting book. I, I don't know what it, what it is. It's a philosophical text, and it's written in Latin. But if it's when it's translated in Hebrew, it's called Vikuach Halava, which is a nice way to translate. And Vikuach Halava basically says that the whole yisoid, the whole foundation of creation, is 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 love. Is an act of love. The Abish had love. 
and wanted to express love, and therefore he created. Hashem was alone, and he wanted a relationship, and out of love he created. So the 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 Ava, which which is which which really means this way that the yisoid of everything comes from a place of, of, that the highest is love, but the highest is not only love; the highest is joy. If the highest is love is Ava, and the highest is joy, which means that means that who are we in our essence, in our goof? We're the opposite. Maybe we don't have chayas. We're 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 bogged down. We're f- and we're full of other stuff. And we're not besimcha. And we're not chayas. And we're not bava. From the place of the body, we're all about friction, about fighting, and about the pettiness, and about all the things that we're saying. But what is your real chayas? Who are you? Be'etzim? The etzim of who you are. That's taka. The chayas of who you are is full of love. You're created from Hashem's love. You're created from the place of chayas. You're created from the place of simcha. Simcha is your essence. Is the simcha is your essence. The essence of who you are is that joy. So again, so there's this two two hagdaras. There's two different definitions of joy. One is the gather of simcha, which is a simcha shal mitzvah. In the gather of simcha shal mitzvah, there's a process. There's a process, and you're doing something to get closer to Hashem, and you have to do it also with joy. And the joy is to get you to the place. This is in in a process of of becoming that you're reaching someplace. You're you're sure you to get to the marker. But then there's another type of of joy. Which is the joy of the the essence of the Yitzumah that you're already there, that you're already there. So there's in, in the in the bria the way it's it's always the way the, the bria is there is there is just like in creation there's the shishis the six days and then there's yom shabbos and shabbos is tachlis tachlis shmaimaretz is the tachlis. What's the difference between the tachlis? Tachlis means the end. So there's the process of six days of the week, which is which is where I'm becoming. Right, I'm, I, I desire, I yearn, I long, I want to become something. That Shabbos is a day of joy. The day of joy is the is the day, is the day of the tachlis, is the schar, the the the, the, the world of reward is already after the process. You're already there. This is what Shabbos is. So here's a, here's a moedik of word from the from the Chnoblin. the last in the last source. The Mordechai writes like this. So the Gemara says in Brachas, Amr Biachim Shem Rishim Meyuchai, Asal Alim Ali Schoik Piv Beilam Haza. Shnemer Azim Ali Schoik Piv. A person is not allowed to fill his mouth with joy, because the pasuk says, "Oz then a person will fill his, his, his mouth with joy." So alone, Lashon Yefsi Shamer Beilam Haza. They call mitzvahs Beilam Haza. What does it mean, Asal Alim Ali Beilam Haza? Okay, the, the, this is the real question. Wait, Haryan Roim, we see who's the who's the Moir and I am talking about. Who's the Shnabla talking about? I'm assuming he's talking about the Baal Shem. Because he was a Talmud of Baal Shem. So, ki kamet tzadikim in malam schoik piyam. We see that the many tzadikim that are full of joy. The malam schoik piyam. The Gemara says, you're not allowed to fill your mouth with joy. And uh, the Baal Shem is laughing. What's pshat? Kamet tzadikim in malam schoik piyam. This is the shayla that the, the boy and I am asked. Achenim de noida ki kol oilam heim shivas yimei abinyam. The whole world is created with six, seven days of creation. Vem hamidah shabadam. Koilum cotton. That's like this midas of general creation, the seven days of the week. The seven represents chesed, gevur, tiferes. That's the midas of the adam. A person that's over the Hashem, someone that's serving Hashem. What does he have to do? What is Oz? What does Oz mean? Oz is Aleph on top. Aleph, This is from the Maral also. That Aleph is the Aleph that's the one that comes into the seven, which is the Aluf the, the, the source, the Makkah, the Kaddish Baruch Hu. He has to draw it down into the Shivas Yom Shaloi. What means that a person's Midas, a person's attribute should be. Served through the Rabbi Nishalim and guided by the by the Aleph Shalom. Then they can begin This is what it means. Oz shehim shem begin as Aleph l'shivus yamim. This is what it means. Oz someone that someone that draws down from the Aleph from the one from the oneness. It's not only one. One is the oneness. One is 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 the is the achtos into the place of the multiplicity, which is the seven. A person that does that is lemayl min hazan. Because he's higher than this world, because he's connected with the Lufish What is the what is the, what is the Shnabla saying? He's saying like this. If if this 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 there's two avoidas. You have the avoidah of six, seven, and then there's Aleph, Oz. What's the difference? Usually it's possible to say that Shabbos is a culmination of the week. So Shabbos is like um, like you know, you work six days. Six days, 
and then and then you 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 rest. You you're resting from work, but it's a rest from work. When you're resting from work, then Shabbos is be, is lefi erech. It's comparison to work. It's just another dimension of work. In other words, there's, there's rest. Let's say a person, even if you have la lacha, if a person's walking, yeah, on Shabbos, he's carrying something, and he's omid lafush, it's not considered an anacha, right? It's not considered like he stopped. Why? Because that's part of carrying. If you stop to rest, I'm sorry, to, to fix your bags, I'm sorry, not a lot of if you fix your bag, you're not considered part, part, part of rest because that's the way a person's mahalach. When you walk, you stop for a second. That's not considered stopping. Meaning, if you're, if you're stopping, if you're Shabbos, is only there in comparison to, to, to Yom HaShishi, then it's another knech in Malacha. So you work hard, you, you rest, so you have enough koyach to work harder. Right? Then it's that structure. Then it's Zion. What's the Aleph Reich of Zion? What's the one on top of the seven? The one on top of the seven is, is, a, is a different understanding. There's an understanding that there's seven, which is a process. What's a process? I'm working to get to some place. And I'm working really hard. And, 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 and I'm working Begashmis on a physical level. I also work in Beruchmis. I want to get to a certain place. I want to deg- I want to deg- I want to reach a certain Madrega. So I'm trying to work something. And every day I'm working harder, one day next to the next. This is one level how you're working, which is an idea of the process. But then there's Ali uh, of the Aleph. What's Aluf Shalom? The Aluf Shalom is the place of unity, the place of Achtus. That's the place of 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 of, 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 of unity, of one. In the place of one, there's no process. In the place of one, Aluf Shalom, there's, there's a Lakus already. It is already there. You're not becoming it. It's it's there. It's already present. So, what is the void of 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 Ozim Al Pina? A person that's drawing down the Aleph. Which is the place we'll call, um, you know, Komalach Chasuya, for example. Komalach Chasuya, everything, all your work is done on Shabbos. Komalach Chasuya can mean that you work early on. Komalach Chasuya, after Ki'ilu Komalach Chasuya, as if everything was done, which means it's not really done. Let's say you're in the middle of uh, doing something. Come Shabbos, so the Mechilda says, Komalach Ki'ilu Komalach Chasuya, you have to stop doing as if all the work is done. It's not done, but I, I, as if. Or you say, Komalach Chasuya is, when Shabbos comes, there actually is no more work. It's not that I, I didn't finish things and now I could, uh, potentially I can't do it now because I, I can't, I'm not out of work. There's, there's nothing to do. Shabbos means I'm actually read completely. Kom lach means it's actually done. And kom lach is not only Megash, it's also Baruch Nis. Kom lach that the highest Madrig of Shabbos is not Shabbos in comparison to the six days a week. It's a, it's a different dimension. It's a dimension of already present that you're already there. That kom lach that you're already perfect. Why? Why could you say you're already perfect? Because in the mocker of the Aluf Shalayla, in the place of the, of the presence of Akadosh Baruch Hu, you take it come from Akadosh Baruch Hu, Mayim Basa, and, that, and, and, and that's where you come from. And that's the Emes. We just work in the place of process. So therefore, he says like this. That's Lamailam and Oilam. That's higher than the world. Why world? Because world represents the world of process. And in the world of process, you move one step to the next step to the next step. So therefore, we're saying that now we're in Oilam Haza. And therefore, we're not. You don't have a place of joy. However, because all and people will see that that Hashem's presence rests on you on this person. So therefore, when a person is davik in that level of that he becomes mamish literally a merkavet alikus, that you look at this person, you see this is Hashem's hashchina, this person. So therefore, he's there. Certainly, this person is allowed to fill their, their place of joy. Why are they allowed to fill this place of joy? Let's try to understand what he's saying. Why are you allowed to fill this place of joy? Because this type, because he's us. But what does that mean? It means. So and why and therefore because he's yichud and lakus. exactly because we work in a place that we're working to schar. The schar elam haba. The schar. The reward that we'll get is we're going to work really hard. So today we're going to work really hard. We're going to progress and get to the point where we're going to reach the tachlis, which is going to be the schar, the reward, which will be basking in the presence of Hashem, which we already arrived. But if you're already living in a place that you can sense the oz, the place already of the tachlis, this is what Tamil Tamil Chacham Nikah Shabbos, right, on a very deep level. When if a person already lives in the place of the schar, what does it mean that he lives in the place of Sarah? He's already living in the place where already is the Tachlis is already revealed. So then, then he's, he's miskashed himself with the Ozzy Mothers, Chakpina. It's not that it happens like now he has a heter. He has like a, a he's, he's allowed to be joyous. He is joy. He is the joy of being already the Tishach Liyem Achran. There's the Tishach Liyem Achran. There's a joy of the end of time when there's no more time. 
When there's no more, there's no more, there's no, there's no more, there's no more time. Time is already a rhythm. When there's no more time, that's the real joy, because that's what. What does it mean that there's no more time? Time, like we said before, is from Shem Elokim. Time, like space. It's from, the, it's from the name of Elohim, which is another form of din. So when you live in the world of din, within the world of time, which in the world of Elam Hazar, which in the world of process, so you, talk, you, don't have, you're like, you can't connect the world of Simcha. You can't, because that's by definition is, you're, you're still becoming that. You're still trying to get to it. So if you're able to get it, you don't have joy. It's not like the, the Chazal is saying, you can't. It's an Isser. Of course, that also means that. But I'm saying what, what the Baal Shem is saying. It's not that that's an Isser. You can't, because that's what your, your Mitzvah is, that you're not in a place of joy. You're still in a place of Din. You're still in a place of constriction. You're still in a place of Elikim. You're still in a place of time. You're still in a place of rhythm, of, of past, present, and future. If you're still in the past, present, and future, and you're still within the world of rhythm, within progress, then you're not in the place of your being, then you can't experience joy. Who can experience joy? Someone that connects to Alufa Shaloylam, that's Taka living with the presence of Hashem, now which means that he becomes a Merkava, this is again back to the Torah of Hashem, that not that it's, a, it's, it's to get somewhere. If you're living in a place that you're already there, because you're taka there, because it's Tzumashol Yoim, just like it's Tzumashol Yoim, because you're, you're ready in Madrigas at Tzadik on the level of, of, of Yom Kippur, that you're beyond the Sultan, you're ready in Madrigas of Yom Kippur, that you're ready in a place of joy beyond the place of trying to get there. If you live that way, if you live in a place of, of, of really connectivity to the Tachlis, to the end, to the Schar, and you live in that place, then you're full of Schoik, then you're actually full of joy. Always, always. So, so I would say, if you want to, if you want to go like this, that direction, we'll say, for most people, that's the place where you can realize that more easily. Because most times during the week, a person's involved in working and trying to try to get in, in a process. So, when does a person let go and really realize that actually? Hashem runs the world in like very simple language, and there's only Yakadosh Baruch Hu in the presence and the creation, and that's the only thing that it really is is us. And when a person realizes that, they're miskashing themselves to the to the mock of, of joy, the mock of Ava. That's why Shabbos is is Ava in Chilon. This Shabbos is about love. Is a is a time of joy. That's me. That's this is what the Sefri is saying. Beyond some chaschem, going back to the Sefri we started. Beyond some chaschem, Elo Shabbos is is beyond some chaschem. There's a joy with some achta bichagecha joy in Yom Tif, which means. I am enjoying Bechagecha Yom Tif. It's a tzura. It's a type of joy. Bechagecha, but not Beishtecha. Bechagecha, what type of joy? I'm enjoying that Hashem took us out of Mitzrayim. I'm enjoying that, that, that Hashem protected us. Not covered. Okay, but then there's Yom HaShabbos. What's the Yom HaShabbos? Ubi Yom HaShabbos. Yom, Yom Sukhas is the day of joy. Why is the day of joy Shabbos? Because Shabbos is the Tachlis. Shabbos is the end. And the end is Simcha. The end is the highest. The highest itself. Not the 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 koyach to get to that place and if a person is kasher to be yom shabbos so maybe that's what the sefer is saying that the sefer is saying that when do we could, could we realize that every person could realize that is maybe more in shabbos but the etzim really what he's saying is that tam chacham to shabbos really that really if we connect this we can connect this everyone is if a person is talking living in that place with the miskashin itself with the oz with the lufish and they're living in that place of the yichud and they're living in a place beyond the din they're connected to it it's always connected and this is the oymek atoyers of the Simchat. So it's not Simcha Shal Mitzvah and a Prat and something, a detail and something. But like I said, that the Baal Shem said that you have the person to be to be joyous always. Because joy is the essence of, 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 of the Chayis itself. And you're Skashi yourself. And you live in this higher Madrega. And this deeper Madrega, you could be filled with joy of being at every single moment of your life. What's the Nekudah of the Chatz?